In today's episode, we'll be discussing to you guys a rare snow opportunity from the south and how this storm system right here could produce some snowfall for the mount for millions of people in the south. Welcome everybody, my name is Ruben. As you can see here, we're using Radar Mega. Just take a look at the current weather conditions. So we have some lake effect snow for the, for the first time in a while as we're finally getting some cold air coming from the south. And we're going to be showing you guys how there could be some snow in this region for the first time this season. And how the rain you see in the, up here, the rain you see here, could turn into snow for parts of the southeast. So, it's all going to be happening this weekend. So, very exciting time for, for folks in the southeast. I would be very excited if I live in the southeast right now because having snow on the weekend is especially on the weekend, is a great thing to talk. It's always fun, and I enjoy seeing snow because kids can play with it, and not too many people travel. So let's take a look, starting from... Here goes, so this is our 18, so this is going to be mostly tomorrow night. As you can see, some freezing rain mixed precip could be up here. What's going to happen is, if I show you the temperature rise, we got cold air coming from the south. And you're going to have some warm air, not so warm, but you're going to have some warm air trying to come to the north. So it's going to squeeze up, especially up in the Appalachian Mountains. Could be getting in some decent snow totals. And maybe as far south as cities like Charlotte, maybe Atlanta could get some snowflakes at least. So you can see some freezing precips starting up. We're going to move to, let's move up to hour 24. 24 hours from now is when I think it's going to start. You can see it's still raining down here. It's still too warm for any rain. But if I show you guys the temperature rise, just to the north of where I circle, it is 33 degrees. It is roughly about in the mountains, about roughly 33 degrees. So it's cold enough for snow. But cold air is moving down to the east south as really quickly as well. Now I'm going to move to, let's try hour 28. You can start to see some frozen precepts to develop up in this region, up in the peaks of the Appalachian Mountains. So we're going to move on to our, let's move on to our 31. Just real quickly to show you guys what's forecast for our 31. Our 32, you can see more precepts starting to develop up here as mixed precepts. Like we told you, we're going to have Warm air still moving in this way, and cold air moving this way. And what do you get in a combination? You get some mixed precepts. We, let's compare to our 38. What's gonna ha what we're gonna see from our 30 is the low pressure system moving this way. It's gonna move this way, and you can get some cold air. What normally happens is the wedge effect. What what does wedge effect is? We're gonna have a cold high over here, and on the back side, it's drawing in cold air down towards the mountains which is what typically in this situation with a low pressure right here moving this way we're going to be seeing some freezing rain especially up in the appalachian region in virginia north carolina and look at this folks potentially some snowfall for parts of alabama we're going to move we're going to be checking another model relatively soon too but if what what we need to see is the snap model is a little bit warmer than most models let's see if we can drop if you can drop some temperatures a few degrees colder out in this region which is typically what happens in these situations it tends to outperform and you might get some more snow but unfortunately we're going to be flirting with temperatures in the 30 mid 30s and low 30s so you need temperatures to fall fast beginning some snowfall now over here a lot of freezing rain for roanoke for the mountains of west virginia and north and also for the parts of North Carolina. So we're going to move now to hour 40. Let's go 43. Three hours from now. You can see now the cold air is starting to, to win up in this region. And if we just keep on playing hour 46. It is, this model one is not as impressive as other model ones. But you can see it starts to snow a lot in that region. So unfortunately this type of model one isn't the most friendly for snow but it does show a lot of snow for the appalachian regions here 
for the Appalachian region here for Tennessee and a lot for especially for North Carolina, which they typically win in these situations. Let's go to hour 54 and just keep seeing hour 55 and hour 60 to end everything when this whole event should end. So we'll take a look first at the freezing rain. This is a little bit overdone, but you can see, generally speaking, I won't be surprised if, especially in this region near Roanoke, down the Galax, Bristol, Tennessee, you could pick up a quarter of an inch, if not maybe more than a quarter of an inch as the as you have cold air coming from the north, over coming from the high pressure in 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 the northeast coming down with the cold, warm air. But we'll take a look quickly with the total snowfall as well. You can see some decent snow totals up in the mountains, but places more generally three to six, maybe up to a foot of snow in the highest peaks. All right, that's the NAM. That's the high resolution model. Let's take a look at a lower resolution model. The GFS for means. So let's take a look at the temperature real quickly. You can see we have temperatures currently in the 50s all across this region. This would probably start by around hour 30. As you can see right now, as by hour 30, you have a cold, shallow cold spot here as the cold air, like we talked about. Temperatures right about freezing there because, like we talked about, we have a cold high somewhere over here. And it's dragging cold air into the mountains and it's going to wedge in the mountains like we talked about. So, do some type real quickly. You can see starting off as some rain. But, this one is showing some snow to develop up on the north edge, which is definitely possible in my opinion. I mean, I think this is a possibility this could happen. And now we're going to go to hour 33. And you can see some snow developing up on the north part of this. GFS is a little bit colder than the NAM, in my opinion, which is kind of what I think is p most likely going to happen. You have temperatures 32 year temperatures in the low 30s all the way up in the mountains, as well as near Charlotte and near Greenville. If I keep showing you guys the precip, you can see that if we played out to our 36. We can see now with the freezing rain because the temperatures is a little bit warm because of low pressure. If the low can take a more of a northerly track this way, you might get some more snow. But if it does what most models hinting at track this direction, you won't it will be difficult to get a lot more snow and a lot more warm air. So we're just gonna monitor what's gonna continue to happen. But to see snow even dimension of what snow in the south. Even if it's for the mountains, is quite an impressive thing to see. But you can see, the freezing wind continues in this region, like we've talked about. But some light snow all across this region. For some pockets of snow now in Asheville, but continues to be up in that direction. We'll look at our let's go to hour 48, and you can see from let me go back to hour 44 so you can see the difference between hour 45. You can now start to see an actual snow. And it's trying to get some snow to develop out here, which could happen. This region is cold enough for snow. But we'll have to just it's all about the margin of the error. How much cold we can get. But we still see some snowfall developing up in that region for you see 48, 51. You can start to see an actual snowstorm develop. On the back edge as the low pressure system is probably somewhere over here trying to drag in the cold air. It will be in the mountains which is good for the ski resorts and everything in this region. We'll move to hour 54. Uh, anything else? Last bit of snow. And an hour 57. And we'll wrap it up at hour 60. So let's take a look at how much frozen precip you'll get first with the freezing rain. There will be pockets more towards this region, especially the Roanoke area. You'll get quite a bit. Yeah, about a quarter of an inch of freezing rain is probably most likely. And what, how much snowfall could you get? Maybe up to 6 to 10 inches from Asheville down in, the, in this region. Beautiful place too to travel. So everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Very excited to see some snow. I'll catch you guys for another video. Maybe an update YouTube short tomorrow. But enjoy your day. And if you guys are in the south, in the Carolinas, go up in the mountains, have fun in the snow.